typically our association with the word negative is something bad and it shouldn't have happened. Like these bad people shouldn't be there. From my understanding is to learn about love, we also needed to learn what without love is or unlove is. And so these are almost like villains, but an actor like to helping us learn the duality of this density. Is that kind of correct? Yes. Um, the whole idea of our being together, whether we are positive, negative, or have not yet made a choice, is that we provide what's called catalyst, our interactions with each other, whether we're confused or angry or happy or um, sad or whatever catalyst or experiences, emotional experiences come, we can process that and find the love that is in the moment. Ross said that is one of the basic principles of this third density. There is love in every moment, no matter what else you think is happening, how discouraged you are, how tormented you are, uh, how confused you are, there is love. And if you can know that and take time to try to find it, no matter what the negative experience might be or how they might be affecting you, you can still find love in the moment and use that love to expand your own awareness, to open your heart even further. So that is the great challenge. But it is a great challenge because there is so much confusion and separation and disillusionment on the earth right now that there's a lot of catalyst that's not being processed. If we could process that catalyst and find the love in the moment, then we could all come together as a planetary mind right here on earth and become what Ra called a social memory complex. We would have all of the memories of every person from every incarnation and we'd all be one and we'd know each other's thoughts and we could decide how we wanted to be of service and have a huge library of information from all those experiences that each person would provide. So that's what we're aiming for and that's what we're hoping for. How do we find love in every situation? So for people that's thinking that, what if there's some unjust that's been done to me or done to the society, like a natural disaster or some mass shooting that just happened or the war that goes on, like how do we make sense of that? How do we find love in that situation? Well, first of all, we have to be conscious seekers of truth. We have to be aware that we are here because we are spiritual entities on a spiritual journey and that we exist in what is called an illusion. We have the veil of forgetting between our conscious and unconscious minds that keeps us from seeing the total unity of all creation. We are here in that veil of forgetting to polarize our consciousness in positive service to others. And we can do that more effectively with that veil because if we could see in this third density how all was one, and there was no separation, no true separation, there would be no reason to try to change our situation. We would see each other as the creator. We would see that there is a perfection in the creation, but we wouldn't be able to move forward because there'd be no reason to move forward. So we have this illusion and we have the desire to learn as conscious beings. Most people on the planet are not aware that they are spiritual entities. Many are in various types of religion, each of which has a pure path to the Creator, Ross said. But each religion also has distortions that keep us from seeing the whole truth of how we are all the Creator and we're all here to learn spiritual lessons. So when we see things happening in the world that seem to be so negative, we can use that in our meditations to grow and to see what can be learned by such terror such calamity, such injustice. And what we have to see is that eventually all of these experiences can teach us that we are the creator. If we took a look at all of the catalyst that goes through the, the wars and the, the um, terrorism or uh, murders or uh, whatever is happening, that nothing is really happening by chance. It all has the opportunity to provide us lessons to learn. We can all learn that we're not separate from that person or those people who are engaging in that terror. They are what Ra called our other selves. And they are existing as creatures of the Creator as well. They are making some effort to try to discover that, but it may not be a very effective effort because they're not yet conscious of this whole process. 
if we're conscious of it, we can see that within my being, there is a dark side that is just like that murderer, just like that rapist. But there's also the poet, the dancer, the mystic. We have the entire universe within us. We have everything in there. We are not separate from anything. So we can learn to love all these people, especially love them because they do not yet know what they are doing. Mm. They do not yet know there is love in the moment. They do not yet know that the one creator exists within them and within the people that they are uh, terrorizing. All of these things can give us a greater reason to love them and to send them love and light and hope that they can use those sendings of the power of love and light and to imbue themselves with it somehow. So in all of this process, no matter what catalyst, that, those are the extremes, but in our daily round of activities, we have other catalysts that aren't as extreme, but we can still learn from that, that it teaches us we are that, we're not separate from it. Whatever difficulty I had with that person, that person and I are the same. We are the one creator. If we can continue doing that, in our personal meditation and processing all the catalyst that is available. And this, that catalyst is food for growth. It helps our spiritual growth. And that's the way it works on this planet and every other planet. Wow. So what you're saying is almost like the people that performed a, a lot of the atrocities, the wars and the killings and a lot of the negative things is almost like there's a little child just throwing a tantrum. They just wanted to seek attention, seek love. And through their attention and they just went about it not the best way that's true they do not yet know that they have all this power within they don't know yet why they're here and unfortunately that type of behavior can cause problems on our planet itself on our mother earth gaia uh, the anger of the wars and the destruction of the wars uh, that heat of anger seeps down into the crust of the planet itself so that as the higher density vibrations from the galaxies uh, come here, these fourth density vibrations that our planet is now imbued in, that the earth, in order to be able to bring those vibrations in, has to slowly release that anger, and that heat, through what we call volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, uh, different ways of the weather being uh, very, um, destructive, slow release of this uh, anger that's built up over thousands of years of war. So our planet itself, our Mother Earth, is trying to heal herself from all of these wars that have occurred because so many of these people are from other planets where they failed to make the graduation and they're still having trouble here. And mm. they're bringing along those vibrations of anger. And uh, so it, it still is an opportunity to grow beyond it if we can all become conscious that we are spiritual seekers, spiritual beings, and we all contain the Creator within us. And no one's any better than anybody else. We're all the Creator. 